We are talking today about what your specific person is feeling and thinking while you are affirming. Actually, it doesn't matter what you're doing. It can be affirming, visualizing, scripting, or just paying attention to your mental diet. It doesn't really matter. Basically, what is happening with them while you are aligning yourself to a different reality, a different outcome, a different experience. The most important thing is that you are dominantly aligned with that outcome, that experience that you desire. Okay, so you are not contradicting yourself in these stories that you tell yourself in your inner world. You are basically not serving two masters. And that's what we are talking about today. But before I get into it, hello everyone. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Al. If you're in need of coaching, go to the description box. The information is there. But right now, let's get into today's topic. This is a very important video for anyone who is main fasting, a specific person or a loving relationship. Not because it's important to know what they are feeling and what they are thinking but because we are touching down on important topics that you can check with yourself to see where you are in this journey to that loving, committed, healthy relationship that you desire with the person that you have in mind. First of all, you know what they are thinking and feeling. You know it because it depends on what you feel as true and natural. So you don't have to go around asking people what is happening with them. You just have to ask yourself. It's like Neville Goddard said in the book Awaken Imagination. Whatever the mind of man can conceive and feel as true, the subconscious can and must objectify. Your feelings create the pattern from which your world is fashioned and the change of feeling is a change of pattern. I have an idea about who I am, about who people are, and the effect that I cause on them, on the world. I have a feeling connected to it, and my experiences reflect that back to me. And that's why working on the idea that you have about yourself is so important. You are doing this work, not because of others, not because you want to fold yourself into a pretzel, but because you know that you deserve better, that you want to feel better about yourself. You want to be your own source of validation. You want to become stable in the idea of who you are. And you know that by doing this, you change how you affect the world. So you are changing what is happening outside of you and you are the force driving that change. Let me give you an example. If I'm interested in someone and they tell me, you know what, you are wonderful, but right now I'm not interested in a romantic relationship. Or even if they said I'm not interested in you, but I have a self-concept who is confident. I know who I am. I know the effect that I have in people. I have an idea, a story, that people always come back, that people always get interested in me, that people are always changing their minds in my favor. If this is who I am, I'm not going to worry, to become impatient. I'm not even going to give it a meaning of rejection. I'm going to think it doesn't matter what that person said, because in the end, they are going to realize that I am the best option, that I am exactly what they have always been looking for. And in that situation, they should be praying that when they come back, I am still available, okay? Because I have options. I have a whole world full of people that want to be in my life, that want to be with me. So why would I worry about anything? Even if someone told me, you know, I'm in a relationship right now, so um, I can't commit to anything, but I would like to be friends. It doesn't matter to me what people are saying. In fact, a similar situation happened. Nobody told me that, but I was interested in someone 
And then one day I saw that they were involved with someone else. And in that moment, my feeling was, I'm not getting involved in a complicated situation. I don't deal with third parties, okay? But I know one thing, that when this gets sorted out, they're going to come my way. And exactly that happened, 15 days later, okay? So it is about the confidence that you have about yourself. I am in a class of my own, okay? I am the prize. They cannot ignore what I bring to the table. They cannot ignore the person that I am. They cannot ignore that I am everything that they have ever dreamed of. I am not in competition with anyone. I'm not worried about who they are talking to and who they are seeing because Whatever is happening is just reminding that person that they are not me. They are not offering him or her what I offer. They don't bring the same thing to the table. I'm unique. As I said, I am in a class of my own. It's a very different mindset than someone who take these words as rejection and they start trying to earn love and approval and validation, or they start chasing. You have then a very weak end. You know that, they know that. You are putting them on a pedestal. You are saying, they are the God of my reality. They are everything that I have ever dreamed of. They are the only person who can make me happy and feel this way. They know that. Why would they be in a rush to come back to you? Okay. They could be there exploring whatever they want because you are waiting. So you have to remind yourself that people are you pushed out. People are going to treat you the way that you expect to be treated. If you are treating someone like a rock star, they are going to treat you like a fan. All of this is, of course, energetically speaking. Okay, It is the vibe that you are creating around you. But basically, why would they rush if they know that they are the prize and you are there waiting for them? There is nothing better happening in your life, okay? And the, the highlight of your day is when they decide to text you, to call you or to give you breadcrumbs. So when you turn this around and you focus on your self-concept or increasing your worth and your value, you know, the way that you feel about yourself, then that whole reality changes with you because you know that you deserve better. You know that there is abundance out there, that your life's not full of lack, that you can always achieve what you want. When you become your own source of validation, your own source of love, your own source of security. You become that confident person in who you are. I talk about this with conviction because I have experienced this too. Is it always perfect? Do I always feel confident? No, I do have bad days. But you know what? I am so trained in noticing what is happening within me that it's easier for me to turn this around, to realize, okay, it's just because I'm not feeling good. It's just because I'm not having a good day. It says nothing about me and my manifestation. It's that acceptance that right now I'm not strong enough to be my best version. But what is the best version that I can be now? Maybe it's just the version that realizes it's a thought, okay? It cannot hurt me. It's just today, tomorrow is another day. So even though I do have bad days, I still get my manifestation and I don't have to wait forever for it because I'm focusing on myself and my life. I know that I'm not defined by those bad days, okay? I'm human, everyone goes through it. And as I said, I still get to experience my manifestation so there is a situation that I would like to share with you guys. At the time I was dating this guy and the relationship started becoming dull, okay? So we broke up 
and I knew that I had things to work on myself because to have the best relationship, I have to be the best version of myself too. And during this time, we did not have contact. We were not in touch. I haven't seen him for a while. It was just me. But whenever I thought about him, my mind went straight to, I know he's thinking about me. I know he misses me. I know he wants to be with me. Whatever's happening around him is just reminding him of how amazing I am and how good he had with me. Stuff like that. I also start assuming that he was working on himself too, okay? And I did not feel any pressure, any impatience. I knew that it was about me, okay? Everyone is me pushed out. I did not see any movement. But one day, he contacted me. He came to me. He chose to get in touch with me, okay? And it wasn't like, oh, I'm missing you, you are everything for me. It was just like a normal talk, you know? How are you? What have you been up to? But yet, I saw this as good movement and I'm like, okay, it's catching up. You know, my inner world is already changing the outer world. And a few days later, then he told me exactly what I was affirming. He said, I have been thinking about you a lot. I miss you and I want to be with you and I know that there are things that I have to work on and I am working on. So everything that I was affirming, he reflected that back to me even though I was not seeing anything. There was no movement, nothing. Nobody was coming to me saying, oh, I saw him and he asked about you or he told me this and that. No one was telling me anything. I didn't even hear from him or see him, okay? It was just a situation, my manifestation picked up from one day to the other and it was there in a few days. So, it doesn't matter what you are seeing right now, but what matters is whatever is happening within you. What is your most dominant assumption about what is happening around you? It's about the conviction of who you are, your confidence on who you are, okay? I did have thoughts. Is he really thinking about me? What is he doing? But then I stepped in and I was like, it's not about him. It's not about what he's doing. It's not about what he's thinking. I know that I am unforgettable. I know that I am in a class of my own. I know that I am one of a kind. It doesn't matter what they are doing or thinking or saying. This is about me and the person that I am. He can be the person that is crazy about me, but I, am I the person who people get crazy about? This is the question. So this is something that I can change. This is something I can work on. So yes, people think and feel the way that you assume most dominantly that they are thinking and feeling. And this is related with the person that you are. If you don't see yourself as someone who is unforgettable, who always gets what you want, who people change their minds according to what is important for you and what you want, what you desire, that circumstances can turn around in your favor. If you don't have a self-concept that implies, I can have that experience, I can get there. This is meant for me. I am unique, I am amazing. Then how can you experience that? If you don't feel like people think about you, how would you imagine that what you are saying, he is thinking about me all the time, is going to be true. You have to feel yourself as being that person, that version of you who creates that effect on people. And you can do this. It's in your hands, okay? It's your self-concept. So you decide the version of you that you are. It may take some work, but you can get there. So that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to talk soon. Bye-bye.